As someone raised on Tetris and Pokemon Puzzle League, I'm no stranger to puzzle games. I'm also a huge fan of games with cute critters, and that's why Arctopia caught my eye. This new, hand-drawn indie puzzle game drew me in with its adorable Arctic creatures and hooked me with its laid-back but challenging gameplay. The first thing you'll notice when hopping into Arctopia is its distinct storybook style. I could go on and on about it, but just look for yourself! So much love clearly went into the art here that you can feel the warmth radiating from the hug you give your cub at the end of each level. And honestly, I want to hug every single adorable critter in this game. The gorgeous artwork here makes this game inviting to everyone and a joy to look at throughout your playthrough. One of my favorite parts of Pokemon games were the puzzles that involved sliding across ice, and Arctopia's gameplay feels like a combination of that mechanic, but with limited steps. You'll need to carefully plan your route to reunite with your cub and maybe meet up with your friends along the way. You can choose to beeline straight for your cub, but completionists will be replaying levels in an attempt to say hello to the seal and the puffin on their way. The puzzles are challenging and offer a really great aha moment when you complete them, but they did something incredibly rare. Levels were never frustrating. Arctictopia keeps the puzzles chill by allowing players to undo moves and by offering hints whenever they're stumped. There are over 150 levels in this game, and while I haven't played every single one, all of the ones I've tried were a joy. Arctictopia is a wonderful puzzle game that you're bound to love. The artwork is delightful, the gameplay is challenging but chill, and I can't recommend it enough. It's currently available on mobile, and it's coming soon to Steam. If you want to give it a look, there's a link to the Steam page in the description of the video. Thank you to the Arctopia team for providing me the opportunity to cover the Steam version early, and thank you all for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye!